whatever. I think you should make the youth event, Cameron. This looks like a horrific youth event. Oh god, what's new about this night? What's new about this night? Oh god, Foxy's already in the freaking closet. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot to do the thing. Oh, he is, he's not in his plushy form. Uh, how do I make him go back to plushy form? I never hear them run away, though. Oh! <laughs> I dang it. Uh, Jaden, how's it? How's it? How's it going, buddy? How you doing? Uh, it's been so long. Uh, Jaden, when are you coming into town to do a spooky, scary stream? And to talk about all the cool, fun stuff that you do in Katie. This feels like scarier than Diner Dasher. What is Diner Dasher? <laughs> what is that? Okay. 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 We're going to be fine. After spooky season, sad day. <sighs> oh. uh, because this weekend is a junior high retreat. 300 people? That's insane, Jaden. Congratulations. That's super cool. What, what element did this knight introduce? Why is there so much running? to my sources. Please tell me you're not actually wiki howing it. Oh, just higher activity. Okay, thank you. You're, you're the best, Robbie. Robbie has been like MVP of the stream. Hmm. <laughs> Greatest excursion and a circus theme. That's super, that's super cute. This is the greatest excursion. Doesn't really have the same ring to it. Oh, uh, you don't remember Benap taking place in a bedroom? That is because this is FNAF 4. Y'all played FNAF 1. And since y'all already played for F1. Uh since y'all already played for F1, I figured 
we would play a different one and somebody on YouTube in my YouTube comment section said that this was the spookiest one. Oh my god. Uh, which night do you think that this is, Caleb? You think I skipped two whole nights? This is three. Night three. Were you here whenever we whenever you finished night two? My palms are so sweaty. It's really kind of gross. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We're gonna be okay. Why would there ever be animatronics in someone's bedroom? <laughs> Explain. America. <laughs> Explain. Why is this one Kansas? But this one is not Arkansas. Oh. oh, you didn't know it was night two. Okay. Ooh. God. Uh, I the 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 chats aren't really getting me. Come on now, the chats aren't really scaring me. <gasps> the chats aren't really scaring me because uh oh uh oh. <laughs> the chat's not really scaring me because I, I whenever I'm I don't want to like look right at the screen, especially because I'm trying to like listen. Okay. Um <laughs> uh and so I'm looking like right at the chat. And I see you type the commands before I hear the commands. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot that he was in there. Uh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Well, then look somewhere else, Blake. We want to scare you. He wasn't plushy. He was not plushy. Yeah. <laughs> Vine is a thing, uh, Jaden. It's called TikTok. Watch your profanity. <laughs> Did I curse? Did I swear? Um, you should make TikToks, Jaden. Because, hey, hot take. I think TikTok is better than Vine. I really, like, Vine made some, like, iconic Vines. Oh, God. Oh, God. That one was so loud. Oh, <laughs> crap, 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 crap. Uh, uh, vines made some, like, there were some iconic vines back in the day, but it's not, it's not really the same energy, but the format allows for, like, better creativity, and social media, I mean, it was already pretty ubiquitous at Vine's time. But, uh, you know, it just feels so much more, I don't know, it's pervasive. Like, I get, like, serious news off of TikTok. Dad freaking gummit.
I get serious news off of TikTok, and I never got serious news off of Vine, which is why it's not like the same vibe. Because like you went to Vine to find vines, like the, the iconic vines that you see is like the tone that all of Vine was. But the the six second the six second format was was really restrictive. I feel like and TikTok really I don't know it, it opened it up with longer format, but still being like a short form content platform oh my god Cameron shut up <laughs> so stupid <laughs> so dumb Caleb you typed it wrong holy <laughs> not creative enough to be TikTok famous just dry sarcastic <laughs> and basic enough to be fine famous that's funny but you know what is oh god you know what is serious uh, vine energy is the breaking news fish have you seen that on tiktok no he's not uh the the breaking news that fish it is like so dystopian it is like so dystopian to hear news like about like you know thousands of children being killed in Gaza from the breaking news fish from Spongebob but like that level of like dystopia uh, it feels like Vine energy. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, go on. Now, get. I've heard things for the first time from it. Yeah, yeah, well, 100%. Legitimately get news from that fish. Hey, plushie, let's go. What? Excuse me, Cole? That's all it does. It's tell me who she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chloe, that was the very first command that I put in. Because Chloe was like, I need to be a command on your stream so that people know who I am. Oh, God. Uh, and so that was the very first one that I did. I don't know that she's actually seen that yet. Since I put that in. Does Coley really mean bile? Because that's gross. If so. I did not know that. Or are you uh, patronizing Caleb? Oh god. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cameron, I just got your joke. That was funny. I could add one for Cameron. But if I add one for Cameron, I have to one add one for everybody. Oh, Jesus. I don't feel like adding one for everybody, so... I'm probably not going to do that. Why is the flashlight flashing? <laughs> I'm in so much trouble right now. What time is it, guys? I can't look. I guess I'll just, uh, a circumcision party. Oh! Shut up, I'm trying to listen for breaths, Caleb. Mm -hmm. Dadgummit! 
I was freaking close. A brisk, Caleb. Brisk. Brisk is a drink. Brisk is a tasty tea drink. And a bris is something completely different. Yeehaw, medical terminology. Cholecystectomy. Col. Col. Cholecystectomy. Cystectomy. I know that. Cholecystectomy. Surgical removal of bile duct. Oh, God. That sounds horrible. Chloe takes Jaden and I mean, god dang it. Jaden takes Chloe and tells her to get in the chat. So that we can tell her that if you slightly mispronounce her name, it means bile. I can't text her because I'm busy fighting the demons of the night. Is is the fox in here? Not surgical removal of the bile itself. It's a surgical removal of the bile duct. The thing that makes the bile. Which has to be not great. Like, you need bile. As gross as it is. Yeah, she said surgical removal of bile duct. That's what I'm saying. You need bile. It has to, like, suck to not have it anymore. Probably have to, like, take some medication to serve the function that bile does. I don't really know the function that bile serves, though. Jaden, we need all your useless medical knowledge. Isn't that so crazy that, like, you stayed up for hours in my stupid office? Stressing out studying about being a stupid lab tech, x ray tech, whatever. Oh, god dang it. And now you don't even use that degree. That's wild. That's a wild time. I still think it was well worth it, though. Even if you don't use that degree anymore. She's probably not even in the chat, just talking to the air. Bile helps the digestion of lipids in the small intestine. Interesting. Uh, lipids are like fats. So I guess it's like corrosive. It like breaks down fatty oils. <sighs> I might actually beat this game. Now that I know that I don't have to start the whole game over. I really thought I was going to have to start the whole game over. Oh god. No, your gallbladder makes additional super strong bile that helps break down greasy foods like a burger. You can live without it. Typically get it removed when you develop a stone blocking the bile duct. Oh god. And it becomes inflamed. Jaden's watching on mobile. You can tell she's like 40 seconds behind the stream. <laughs> Seems like I heard, oh god. Or read somewhere that bile is extremely acidic. I have no clue. Uh, on Google, Good Mythical Morning, they make bile, like, they have to drink bile. Oh, God. And it sounds horrific. I can't imagine. And yeah, because we are friends now, but I'm a rat, a rat tech, not a lab tech. I do not use the degree every day. I do use the degree every day. <laughs> I know what I'm drinking by. <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently it's like a food, like people eat it like a food, like a dish. 
they use it as like sauce. It is really gross. And it like whenever they eat it on the show, they it like it like turns their mouth and teeth all black. Oh god. Bile sauce? That's sinful. <laughs> Uh, where is everybody? Ain't, ain't nobody in the chat. If you're if you're watching and you're not in the chat, are you really watching? Uh, how's your weekend going? Are you going to watch the FNAF movie? Because I heard it's dumb. I heard it's gonna be bad. You do drink bile every time you throw up and some goes back down. That's why it burns. Oh my God. That's why I don't throw up. I have not thrown up uh, since college. And I'll let you, you know, guess as to why I would have been throwing up in college. Doing laundry plane. <laughs> I can't be in chat. Uh, darks or lights, Robbie. Yo, why do you know all this? Are you talking about... Are you talking about Jaden? She literally, like, studied for two years to be a rad tech. and Like, an x-ray tech. The person who, whenever you go to the doctor and you need to get an x-ray, uh, the person who actually does the the actual labor... Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me! The person who actually does the labor of x-raying you, uh... Uh... Is who Jaden was. Not some stupid doctor. Where, <laughs> you drunk Blaine, we all know you had those AA meetings. I have a medical degree, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Oh my god. Y'all are distracting me too much. Uh, I have a medical degree, dot, 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 says the youth pastor. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, it's wild. Do you regret doing that, Jaden? Like getting the degree? Or are you glad that you went through it? Well, I mean, you don't. I forgot. You you do use your degree because you do rad tech stuff there. I completely uh, erased that part of my brain. Uh, yeah, you one hundred percent use your degree. No one's in the chat. <laughs> no, no. No one's in the chat. Ten seconds later, y'all are distracting me too much. <laughs> nah, really just playing. Uh, everyone knows people who work at churches don't actually do anything. That was not my insinuation at all. Uh, I just meant... Like, Jaden, like, went through hell for two years to go through that insane program to get that degree. And I was forgetting that she does rad tech stuff in Katie. I thought she wasn't using that degree at all. And, uh, so, I mean, that is pretty much everyone in ministry, by the way. Everyone in ministry has a useless degree that they got but aren't using like literally Tanner is oh, Tanner has a literal biology degree could be a freaking doctor himself oh my god and is a pastor at church yes and no I wish I had a ministry degree but I can see how God worked it out for Grace Fellowship. And now the Red Tech degree helps pay rent. Yeah, William Gregg is a registered nut. <laughs> oh my... Freddy? Oh, I guess the I forgot about the, the, the little guys behind me. Whoops. Uh, Tanner is a pastor? Are we talking about the same Tanner, Caleb? Tanner Hemmings? 
Tanner has been the youth pastor at Calvary uh, for a while now, like a good two or three years. Don't remember these people. Tanner is a uh, Tanner wasn't on the stream terribly often. He did play. We had like a couples night, and Tanner and Logan played together. They played. There's a really fun clip of. They played like a fighting game, like Street Fighter. And there's a really funny clip. Like they played it co-op and in the clip, Tanner dies. And so Logan has to, uh, Logan has to like beat the level by herself and she ends up beating it. And we like freaked out. It's a funny clip though. Yeah, Tanner, Tanner wasn't on stream terribly often. If you're thinking about somebody from the stream. You might be thinking Tyler. He was on the stream more regularly than, than Tanner was. But it's hard being woman in ministry with no seminary. But God, okay, Jaden, don't 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 come preaching in my chat. <laughs> uh, yes, I know. I wish I had a ministry degree, but I see how God. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I read that one. Tyler did have awesome hair. Uh, do you feel like Jaden that? I mean, this is a public setting, and so, you know, you don't have to answer if you don't feel like it. But do you feel like people might look down on you in ministry because of you're a woman and a, a female pastor? Should have definitely made him into a plushie. Scare the crap out of me. Uh, hard being a woman in ministry with n no seminary, but God just stomped on Jaden bros on that. <laughs> the second Timothy two twelve kick. What are you talking about, Caleb? Second, Second Timothy two twelve isn't that? I do not permit a woman to teach, <laughs> to hold authority over a man. Oh my God! Scary. Second Timothy two twelve is where Paul says he doesn't suffer a woman to teach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which you know, uh, the the more traditional interpretation of that verse uh, is a pretty superficial, straightforward reading of a complex portion of scripture. If you oh should not have done that, should not have done that. If you apply, if you apply that logic consistently throughout that portion of scripture, uh, Paul also seems like he's saying that a woman can't be saved unless she has children. So it is a, a complicated portion of scripture to interpret, but certainly there are all kinds of people in the chat who interpret uh, scripture vastly differently. Oh my God. I've been summoned. <laughs> I really want... Now I really want to set that up. Where in your room, there's like a little red light. And whenever people use the command Chloe command, it flashes the red light at you. Uh, and, and does actually summon you to the chat. Oh, hell 
no. <laughs> that would be fun, Chloe. Come on. Let me... Let me set it up. I know how to do it, actually. I just figured it out. 100% uh, a lot of churches do not permit women to preach. A lot of people look down on women who are preachers, constantly reading media about it, and also... And then also being looked down on... Oh, crap. We're not having proper education. So it's like... I'm just out here trying to follow God's calling. Uh, 100%. Well, it's super awesome that you are doing that. And doing that so faithfully. Even in the, the presence of obstacles. But that's not the question that I asked. Uh, like, 100%. There's going to be people, like, all throughout church life who are going to hold uh, a different interpretation of scripture. Uh, my question was, do you feel like at Katie, there are people who look down on you either because you are a woman or because, uh, because you're a woman or because you're, you don't have a degree, uh, was my question, which you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Uh, and maybe you're, answer was a way of like not answering so you know don't elaborate if you don't feel like it uh, i mean it can be it hasn't been too hard in the past i don't know what you're referring to caleb uh what do you mean in the past like like in the past people interpreted uh second timothy 2 12 clearly and now today all of a sudden because people have more quote unquote liberal inclinations they quote it differently because uh lots of the portions lots of portions of the bible have been very clear in the plot in the past uh like portions of the bible that advocate for polygamy or portions of the bible that advocate for uh oh my god or portions of the bible that advocate for slavery or the death penalty, or uh, torture, or, you know, X, Y, Z, other thing. Killing and taking of hostages. Uh, the Bible has been clear to a lot of people throughout all of time. Uh, but some people choose to, instead of taking uh, traditional approaches to interpreting portions of scripture that have been handed down to them, my authorities throughout their life, which is a good thing. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. You should you should trust authority uh, to help you understand scripture. Uh, but some people choose to trust an entire spectrum of authority, not just certain people from their community, certain people from their background. Uh, oh God. Uh, not just certain people from their their community, from their background. Some people choose to respect uh, a, a wide spectrum of people of authority, like people who are vastly educated uh, and experienced in, in interpreting the Bible and speaking the original language, original languages. And according to a lot of those people, uh, who I would call authorities as well, uh, maybe we shouldn't take such a simplistic. Uh, maybe we shouldn't take such a simplistic approach to, uh, interpreting some portions of the Bible. Uh, Jaden articulates the gospel better than a lot of dudes I've talked to. 100%. Jaden not only articulates the gospel better than some dudes that I've talked to, uh, I mean, a lot of ways Jaden articulates the gospel better than I do. One. And two... Uh, not just articulates the gospel, but does the actual like work of ministry, uh, providing and being there for people. Oh my God! It's both spiritually and materially. I mean, Jaden has done that far better than I've done my entire uh, career of uh, working together with her. Uh, I came to be spooked. <laughs> I came to be spooked. I didn't know a Bible study was going on. <laughs> Always, there is always the danger of a stray Bible study breaking out uh, in this chat, 100%. And Caleb, oh, like, don't feel me. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to jump on you or 
uh, convince you of something that you are already uh, spiritually convinced of yourself. Uh, so don't don't feel like I'm not trying to. I don't want you to feel excluded just because we happen to dis disagree on some portions of biblical interpretation. Uh, slavery isn't advocated in the Bible. Both Old and New Testaments state clearly that slavery is wrong, and slavers are the worst of people. Eh. Um, certainly, uh, portions of the Bible oh, will state clearly that certain forms of slavery... Why is she screaming? Why is she... <laughs> Chloe is, is screaming for some reason in there. Um, I don't know what she's saying. What was I saying? You distracted me. Um, <laughs> is she saying? Is she saying? Oh my god! She's distracting me. I think she said read the chat. I'm getting there. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm taking them line by line. I'm articulating my position clearly um, before I get to the next one. Uh, slavery, uh, there are portions, portions of the Bible that do uh, condemn certain types of slavery and certainly excessively like cruel forms of slavery. But there are also portions of the Bible that uh, straight up give uh, rules for who you can ex enslave, when you can enslave them, how you can enslave them. Uh, how many slaves you can have uh, how often uh, or you can or cannot beat your slaves to what degree you can beat your slaves uh, and all of those portions of the bible seem to be operating within a framework where slavery is both uh, condoned and accepted in the community and then that's talking you know, like you're getting into an entire like a whole big can of worms of uh, <laughs> uh you're getting into a whole big can of worms of like how do we interpret certain portions of like old testament law and apply them to our lives today uh but 100 percent, there are portions of the bible that uh condone slavery in, in my opinion of my interpretation um let me hurry up and read the chat or before chloe freaking leaves my bad, Chloe. You were summoned because your name. <laughs> you were summoned because your name, spelled incorrectly, means bile. That's how I remembered it in school. That's how you remembered it. That's so sweet. The hell. <laughs> uh. Oh God. Oh God. Oh man. I knew it. I knew I left that one too long. Uh, I literally laughed out loud, Chloe, but I'd rather have maggots fall out of the ceiling than take pictures of them in people's feet at the hospital. Oh, that's disgusting. Uh, for context, Jaden is talking about the fact that at Chloe's school, there was a dead rat in the ceiling and like the children in the school were being like oh there's maggots and they're falling out of the the falling out of the ceiling and so whenever they poked up the ceiling tile to see why there were maggots falling out of the ceiling uh there was a giant dead rat up there and it was covered in maggots and that's why the maggots were falling out of the ceiling um and apparently Jaden takes pictures of maggots in people's feet why why are there maggots in people's feet? Like they burrow in there? Okay, uh... I can't tell. Okay, okay. Uh, oh no, not at all. People are allowed to differ in the ways they believe. You're totally fine. Awesome. Thank you, Caleb. Because, I mean, and that that is an important way that we advocate for unity in church spaces, even though we do radically disagree. And certainly there are uh, certain lines that, you know, you, you have to draw in certain places. But just being able to, like, exist in the same community of people and hold disparate opinions, especially about things that are really important to us, like the Bible, uh... 
I think is one of the most powerful demonstrations of the unity of the kingdom of God. Uh, that. Oh my God. That's one of the most powerful demonstrations of the unity of the kingdom of God that I get to see on a regular basis. So, uh, it's super cool that you are super cool, Caleb. Bruh, I'm bored. <laughs> My favorite, my favorite is just going from like chat to chat and being like complex theological conversation. Chloe just yelling, screaming in chat <laughs> about how terrible the stream is. <laughs> Bro, I'm bored. You get stuck on one topic too. Too long. <laughs> okay, okay. I will endeavor to move on from topics more quickly. But whenever the topic is about something that's really important. God dang it. I gotta wait longer at the door so I can hear them breathe. Whenever the topic is really important, uh, you know, I tend to spend a little bit of time on it. Um... Uh, no, the, uh, I'm catching up on the chat, Chloe. There's not a delay. I just am catching up. Uh, that chip is settled. Uh, that's true. Those rules are in there. However, every time the Israelites were enslaved as a punishment, 100% enslaved, like, um, being enslaved is a negative thing like in a lot of places in the bible it doesn't change the fact that a lot of the bible not only uh provides allowance for the the, the institution of slavery but endorses the institution of slavery in a lot of places and like it's just, oh those portions of scripture are complicated uh and it might be interesting i've been thinking about like maybe doing bible study streams and it would be interesting to talk about, like, slavery, maybe, on one of those in the future. No, I'll read my comment for that. It's a great day to be an oiler. An oiler? Who are the oilers? Baseball team? Are they one of the ones at the World Series right now? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yikes, that was close. Uh, OMG, this guy is falling, this guy is falling. What happens when you don't change your medical dressings? Oh, for two years straight? Oh my god. I think this is a delay because I commented that five years ago. Two years. Or maybe you're just slow. You're just that bad. <laughs> Today's topic, slavery. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be a super light topic, I think, for people. Uh, just like in some parts of the Bible, women are not allowed to speak. But in other parts, they're leading and teaching. It's complicated. It 100% is complicated. Uh, those portions of the Bible that Jaden is referencing is 1 Corinthians, I think, uh, where in one chapter, uh, Paul says that uh, women are not in one chapter, Paul says women are not, uh, not allowed to ask questions in church, that they should wait and go home and ask their husbands. Um that he doesn't permit a woman to speak in church. Uh, and that is a complicated portion of scripture and obviously cannot be the literal straightforward interpretation of that, of being like, oh, well, women are not allowed to speak in five years, uh, five years, speak at all in churches. Women are not allowed to speak in all in churches is the straightforward literal interpretation of that. But that obviously cannot be the case because just a couple of chapters earlier, Paul praises the fact that women are both prophesying and uh, preaching in, in churches and provides prescription for how they can do that in a more orderly fashion. Uh, so yeah, the, the, the topic of uh, women preaching in church spaces is a complicated one uh, and how we interpret the Bible uh, one way or the other is also a complicated topic. Which also would be the good top a good topic for future streams and the uh, maybe possibly Oh God. 
Uh, Blaine, how long has your sister worked at West Harden and you still don't know the Oilers? Oh, the Oilers are. I was thinking like Baltimore. Aren't they the Oilers? Baltimore Oilers? I thought it was a baseball thing. Five years, Jaden. <laughs> Headaches. You give me headaches. <laughs> Guess that reference. I did. I knew that reference, Chloe. And that is so completely our relationship. Uh, I am have always been the Josh, and Chloe has always been the Drake. Uh, wow, does he even know you? Like, does his brain have zero memory storage left? <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I'm so scared. My palm is so sweaty right now. And it's only 2 a.m. I'm just not going to beat this game. I'm just not going to beat this game. Uh, yes, check your phone. Uh, one second. I'm trying to beat monsters right now, Chloe. Not to get off <laughs> into a whole debate, no problem, Caleb. Uh, but simply to ask, how do you believe about the apostolic gifts in terms of being around or not? Um, I think that that is a complicated uh, topic, uh, like all of them. Uh, simply, I would say. Uh, I'm going to take the, the really baby answer and be like, yes and no, I don't know, I guess, um, that I definitely have seen instances of, uh, like, apostolic gifts manifesting themselves in church communities and church spaces in really, like, sincere ways. Like, obviously, there are, there are ways that uh, those portions of scriptures are, manipul are manipulated for abusive purposes in church spaces, and that's never great. Uh, and sometimes that's clearly what's happening. Uh, but other times, like, speaking of Tanner, ask Tanner about some of those apostolic gifts and whether or not they manifest themselves, uh, because he would be uh, somebody who would strongly advocate for them uh, being around in church communities today because he has seen them uh and i choose to count very highly the witness of tanner but also the witness of, of many other uh people that i believe to be sincere mature wise christian leaders who have also you know uh talked about the manifestation of apostolic gifts um But I think that, you know, you just got to be careful with it. I think the whole the whole line of interpretation about uh, I think the whole line of interpretation about ep episodic gifts like turns into do we have superpowers or not? And I think the oh my god, hold on, Chloe, one freaking second. I'm basically reading like two chats because I have to read the chat. That I'm on, like that I'm currently responding to, and I have to keep on reading the most recent chats so that I can see Chloe yelling at me. It's 5 a.m., Chloe. Just hold on. Oh my god. Uh, Apostolic gifts. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Hold on.
Let's go. Oh. Holy God.